Hey guys, Mike here, Real Texas Outdoors. Man, I'm excited to share this video with you guys. Uh, what you see here, this flat piece of material on the table, is actually a fish trap. And uh, I've been kind of toying with the idea of creating a collapsible trap for some time. But in all honesty, I've just been so busy building traps and just, you know, having to do a lot of stuff myself, I really hadn't had the time to do it. And so this year I've had enough help where I've actually had some ideas, you know, or had some time to put some ideas together and come out here and construct one that I actually have liked. Uh, and so that's what this video is about. Again, I'm excited to show it to you guys. This is a collapsible trap and I'm gonna put it together here on film and you can see I mean it's super thin uh, the great thing about this is it's being so small is that you can pack it and store it anywhere if you have a small boat you can store it in your boat if you live on a houseboat which this particular one will be going to a guy uh, who lives on a houseboat this is a perfect thing for that uh, a good for all those scenarios where you need a trap but you need it to be very small and compact the issues I typically have with small traps are just really they're not very good and I feel like this one has a huge advantage over a lot of traps I've seen. I'm going to talk about that in a second. You can use it for bait fish of all kinds. It has one inch by three inch entry points. It has two of them on each side or four total. You can also use it for crawfish. And so I'm going to explain all that in a second. I'm going to walk you guys through the setup here in the camera. And then I'm going to put on my GoPro, my chest cam, and then walk you through it again. Uh, you know, just using my hands so you can see it a little bit better. So again, I'm going to call this, this is a collapsible, uh, what are we going to name? We'll name it right here on the camera. Uh, collapsible combo trap is what it'll be called. Uh, again, you can use it for all kinds of bait fish and crawfish. And so the way it works, it's going to come in three parts and I will have some sort of bungee that goes over this to kind of help you secure it all together um, when it ships, but it is going to ship flat. It's going to come in three parts. You got one side, one side, and the main trap part here. So the main trap, if you flip it up, is approximately 11 inches this way, 11 inches this way, and it's kind of coming off the table there. So it's 11 by 11, uh, and it's 24 inches long. So it's 24 by 11 by 11. It does have a large four inch by four inch bait sack in the middle. So it's not a bait box that's made out of wire, it's actual sack. Now, with this material, I did order some different kinds, so it probably, if you were to order one, you probably won't get the exact same material that you see here on this one. Uh, it's going to look a little bit different, but it, the, the same principle. You're going to have a little bit bigger mesh diameter than the one I ordered, um, but you're going to have a bag that connects on one end, and it's going to taper to the other end. I did try to connect it where you had four inches around the top, four inches around the bottom, and with that 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 mesh, it was just like impossible to work with. I'm not a, I'm not someone who does good well with like I don't know like. Uh, sewing and so that was very difficult but so you will have a four inch box at the top and it'll kind of taper down towards the bottom uh, but that's the overall what the trap dimensions are going to be so the way you put this together is you just flip it up on its side take one of your panels that go on the side here and just drop it in drop it in and you're going to pull hopefully you can see this you're going to pull one side over to that pull one side over to here and push it down and obviously friction is a real thing here. That's what's gonna help keep it together. So push it down and you take your bungee then and just pull your bungee down tight. Pull it down tight where it holds it. Flip it around, do the exact same thing to this side. Push it down. Pull your bungee down tight. Flip the trap over and do the same thing to this side as well. You've got part of that going over there, part of that going over here. Pull your bungee. So, I mean, within about a minute, 30 seconds, you can have your very own, very own rather, trap assembled. And that's all there is to it. And so what you have here is, and I'll, hopefully you can see that on the camera, you're going to have two entry points per side. you got a one by three here, a one by three here, and you got two more on this side. So what I was telling you a minute ago, the advantage of this trap is that it's really, really versatile. You can use it for all kinds of bait fish. So if you were just to order, like go online and search out like pinfish traps, a lot of times you're going to see rectangular style traps for pinfish. Well, this is going to fit that need. Uh, if you go to like Academy and you actually were to find some that were assembled there, Number one, you can't find hardly any good traps in big box stores. But if you did find some that were like a, a, a perch slash pinfish trap, it's usually a rectangle style. This is going to be a better option than those. Those are typically one inch by one inch mesh. This is half inch by one inch, so the mesh size is smaller. You're going to have more entry points on this. And here's the best thing. If you don't want, don't want to use it for, for fish all the time and you want to catch crawfish, you simply flip it on its side, which is just awesome. And so if I want to catch fish, I leave it this way because the, the entry points coming in are going to be vertical and the fish can swim right in. If I want to catch crawfish, I simply turn it on its side, 
bait it with something different and then now I have a ramp for those crawfish to crawl up, hop into my trap and you catch them that way. So really, really versatile trap. Uh, again, I'm super excited to show it to you guys. What I'm gonna do is uh, stop the camera here and I'm gonna put the chest cam on and just kind of walk you through the, the takedown and the put back together of it again. So let me do that real quick. All right, let me try this for the 45th time tonight. My GoPro is giving me all kinds of fits. So this is the trap. As I was mentioning, it's 11 inches by 11 inches by two feet. Um, it does have, as you guys can see that, it does have two entry points. These are one inch by three inch, and we can widen them a little bit if we need to. Uh, so it has four total, two on each side. Um, the bait box is approximately four inch, or it is a four inch by four inch, uh, square here, but the mesh material this one happens to be I think one eighth inch or sixteenth I can't recall. Uh, it's kind of like a sane material. I've ordered some new stuff and the new stuff is gonna be a little bit bigger uh, It'll probably be like I think a half not a half like a quarter inch or so But anyway, it's a, either way um, the product will have this sort of bait box in the middle It is a large bait box. You can put plenty of bait in there um, Plenty of space for your bait and it closes with a bungee there. Now there's no exit door on it where you pour your fish out. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but let me break this down and then I'll show you how to put it back together here kind of in first person. To pull it apart, you simply just disconnect your bungees and pull. And it's gonna hold together pretty dang well just on its own, but the bungees are just added there, you know, to make sure it's secure. So that's one side, pull these bungees off and, and pull. And you can see the way this thing is designed here, um, you've got these little hooks or like this is the way the wire is bent It just wraps over the edges of this and it really like friction almost honestly does everything you need The bungees are there just to additional like kind of pulling it together Same thing with this side pull your bungees off And just pull it out Bungee is hooked Okay, and then the trap does collapse like I said goes flat and it will ship just like this ships flat super small it'll be very cheap to ship um, in a box and it'll have some sort of bungee that kind of holds it together here as well I just hadn't put one on this one yet um, but to assemble it very easy you have your sides again obviously you guys know that you just fold this up turn it on its side like so it's a lot easier to do it this way than it is to do it the other way so turn it on its side like this take one of your panels get your little hooks out of the way so they don't hang on anything and just put it in. Pull that edge over there, pull that edge over here, and just kind of work it down, clip it there. Same thing on this side, work it down, clip it. Flip it over, do the exact same thing. It's a lot easier again to do it this direction, so you can use some force and push it down. Again, friction does hold this together very, very well. Okay, and that's your trap, man. That's it. That's all you got to do. Now, one thing that did concern me with it, just to be totally honest, was normally when I build all of my traps, I like to clip them right here and right here with some sort of, you know, we usually use the hog rings there, clip them there. If you have one of my traps, you can go look at it anywhere there's a V or anywhere there's a funnel, we always clip it. However, with this one, we really couldn't do that. I toyed with the idea of putting some bungees and making clips here on the bungees. But in all honesty, I don't think you're going to need it. I feel like this is going to be perfect the way it is. Um, now, if a, a large animal like, I don't know, like a, an otter or a raccoon or something wanted to push on it, they might be able to push this thing and get into it. But no fish are going to escape this. Fish and crawfish, they're not going to be able to escape that. Um, great thing about wire also is you can just kind of bend it back down if something were to bend it. Uh, and, I mean, you're talking here on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a maybe an eighth inch gap there. There's 16th inch gap there. The only way it's going to come apart is if something that's strong enough is really pulling it. As far as fish, like bait fish of any kinds or crawfish, they're not going to be able to tear this thing up. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. That this thing has uh, kind of been an idea for a long time. Um, I had some different designs, and I feel like this one is the one that makes the most sense right now. Uh, easy to ship pack it down, put it anywhere you want to store it, and you're going to be able to use this for a lot of different varieties. I mean, you can use it for, as I mentioned earlier, any kind of bait fish. This is PVC coated, so salt water will be great on this. Uh, you can use it in any kind of bait fish for salt water, pinfish, croaker, any of that stuff. Uh, if you want to use it in fresh water and you want to use it for, you know, sunfish, brim, you can do that as well. And then if you, uh, like I was saying earlier, if you leave the doors this way, one, vertically, you're going to catch fish, but if you turn it on its side like this way and they're horizontal, then you can use it to catch crawfish because it allows 
the crawfish to crawl up this ramp and fall and then fall into the trap rather. So, all right, I feel like I've beaten this thing to death. You guys understand what this is and what it's used for. I'm gonna go back to the main cam and let's close it down. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Um, if you have any questions about this thing, be sure to drop a comment below or you can send me an email. It's Mike at Real Texas Outdoors. I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this. And uh, again, just let me know if you have questions and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you again. God bless.